Yo guys, welcome to the first episode of How to Use Buff 101. In this series, I'll show you everything you'll need to know to use Buff and basically be familiar with the site. I'll start from zero and go up to everything you'll need. So just watch every single episode I'll post to this topic and you should be fine and know everything you need to know to use Buff in its fullest. The first episode will focus mainly on to log in and getting used to the bare basics of the website. So if you have some knowledge of Buff already, this episode might not be for you. This is more for the people that are still using Steam Market or Seize Money and don't know anything about Buff or real cash websites. So yeah, let's just get started. So first of all, if you go into the Buff website, I'll link that down in the description, you will see this login slash register page. It looks kind of weird and it might be on Chinese for you if you didn't ch change the la language yet. So make sure to change the language to English up here because it might look like this and not being able to read anything, not helping you. But yeah, change it to English so you can understand everything. Uh, this might look a bit weird to you if you, you've been only using CS Money or Steam Market because most of the sites only want you to log in with your Steam account. You can also do that here, other login me methods, but I would recommend doing it the right way from the beginning. You'll have to do this at some point to fully use the website. So um, up here it says enter your mobile number. Just take your mobile number, enter it. It's pretty simple. I'm gonna just do that. This might be blurred out because I don't want to leak my number and stuff. Get the thing that belongs to your country. I'm in Germany, so plus four nine is what I need. Then enter your mobile number. I did that here. Then drag this to verify that, yeah, you're a human. Pretty simple. And then press get code. Now a code will be sent to your mobile device um, through SMS. You'll just have to copy that code or just read it off and paste it into here. Pretty, pretty simple things. Pretty self-explanatory. So yeah, just put in that code and then check the agreements. Up here it says, keep me signed in for 10 days. I would always take that because doing this every day is kind of annoying. So just take that so you keep being locked in. So yeah, just do that. You can also fill in an invitation code, but yeah, you can just skip it if you want to. Then you'll have to connect your Steam account. Go press connect to connect to Steam. And yeah, basically use the account you already have. Uh, I recommend you to log into Steam first on like a separate tab so you know that it is the real site. I would always recommend you doing that. Log into the real Steam page and then you should always have your Steam already there without having to put in your password or anything. Just press sign in. Sometimes it's a bit buggy. And right here it said it's already bound to other, other Steam accounts, so that doesn't work for me. But yeah, basically just connect your Steam account and then you should be fine. So I'll just skip that part. Okay, uh, now I'm signed in. This is basically what you you'll first see. You'll see your balance. This should be at zero. Uh, you see your frozen balance. That's the balance you have for buy orders, but that's not too important. A balance bank card, if you're not Chinese, just ignore that. We will not be able to use the deposit and withdraw options because they're only for Chinese people with Chinese credit cards or Chinese Alipay accounts. So we will not be able to use that. Up here, you can see all your transactions. Pretty handy if you want to see how you spent your money or what did you, what you bought and, and all of that. So yeah, just check all of those things out. For now, they're not that important though. Up here, you can see your account and the settings of your account. Uh, here you can see the phone number you're bound to. Up here you can see your username, your avatar, and your Steam ID. And you can put in your API key, and I would recommend doing that because it makes this trading stuff a lot easier. So just press to get the API key, put it into there. If you don't trust it, you don't have to necessarily put it in there, I think, but I would recommend doing it. It makes a lot of stuff a lot easier. Uh, here you have to put your trade URL, just press to get the trade URL and then yeah, you'll be led to the page where you can get it. Everything pretty easy. We don't need WeChat, we can just 
ignore that. Bargain settings, just leave that as it is. Payment settings, I would also leave that. Store display, just leave that. Display currency, if you don't want to get used to RMB, uh, you can change it to dollars or euros or rubles or whatever, whatever you want. But I would actually recommend you leaving it at RMB because almost everybody that uses Buff is talking in RMB. And if you change the currency to uh, to dollars, it's just confusing for a lot of people. Just leave it at RMB. And if you really want to convert it to your currency, use a converter like the Chrome converter. Uh, you can even convert it in Zipple stream in the chat. So yeah, just leave it at RMB for now. Just get used to it. Uh, seven RMB is like $1. So just keep that in mind and you should be set for, for quite a while. You can leave all of that as default. You can maybe change inventory pricing to buff price, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, this is just the cash price. This is the skin price. This might not be accurate, so you might want to change, but it doesn't really matter. Um, messages up here, you can see all the messages buff is sending you, basically all the offers you got or purchases that went through, or if basically an item sold or something like that, just check that every day or every now and then you will also have a notification tab up here. It will like have a red dot if something new appears. So yeah, just check that because if you don't accept trades in time, uh, you can get a ban, but I'll get to that later. Um, system messages are a bit different, not happening that often. It, they, they only basically come to you if you fail to send an offer or something like that and receive a ban. So yeah, just accept all your offers and you will never see this tab basically. Okay, in the favorite tabs, you can see items you favoritized. Um, how you'll do that, I'll show that later to you when we go to the market tab and all of that. But yeah, up here you can see your favorites if you, for example, want to keep a look look at an item and its price just favoritize it and uh, yeah you should be set up here you can see your coupons yeah they're here price drop alert it will notify you when a certain item drops in price but they're not that important to most of the people you don't have to check shake this tab too often pretty unimportant in the support tab you can see all your tickets and uh yeah, your problems you had, and you can also submit tickets. You can you have to put in your contact email, and then you can basically uh, yeah state your problem and attach screenshots if you want to show them something or a bug or any problem you have. You don't have to attach a screenshot though, and then you can just press submit and submit the problem. Usually they respond in less than twenty four hours. It shouldn't take longer than 24 hours unless it's like a very big problem or something like that. But 24 hours is like the usual time it takes. I think this is already it for this episode. If you enjoyed it and if you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below what your biggest problems are with buffs so I can focus on those and uh, yeah, include them into, into the next videos. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.